Hi folks, this is John Adamson, the Rehab and Documentation Guru, and today I'm going to talk about concurrent, and what is concurrent and how to bill it. Uh, one of my subscribers asked about this. So um, concurrent is two Part A patients, and Part A only, or Part A-like. There, are, you know, Of course, there are some Medicare Advantage programs that bill like Part A, so those would be applicable as well. So concurrent. Um, concurrent is two patients and only two patients doing dissimilar, not similar activities at the same time. Because if they're doing similar and they are two to six, they're a group. So um, that would distinguish concurrent. It's um, splitting your attention between patients that are doing different things. And you're billing them at the same time. You're seeing them at the same time. Now, concurrent, um, even though technically we don't count minutes. Minutes still go towards um, Medicare's calculation if you're f uh, following the regulation for 25% group and or concurrent. So you still have to keep track of minutes. So when you see two patients that are on concurrent for one hour, then they each get 30 minutes of billable time. I and mean, that's it. Uh, so concurrent, two patients doing dissimilar activities under Part A or Part A-like and you half the minutes, and your system should do that for you. I mean, I'm not aware of any electronic medical records that cannot calculate it if you've put in the patient's time, but you may have a more archaic system that requires that. Anyway, um, I would still document, too. Um, one of the things I would say is you should document that your care was delivered in a concurrent situation um, because uh, Medicare will expect that. And um, anyway, that's basically it. Hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care.